Hello and welcome to my video on C60 CBD oil. My name is Kelmer and before I get started I'd like to just give you a couple of quick disclaimers. Um, this video is not medical advice in any way shape or form. Uh, it is purely my uh, own objective and subjective opinion. Uh, I am not endorsing any products of any kind and I'm not selling anything to you and I am not getting paid to do this video. Uh, what I, why I do these videos is I have an insatiable curiosity to learn new things uh, mostly of the scientific nature and I just like to share uh, what I've been learning. So let's jump right in and let's start talking about what is C60 and what is CBD. Uh, for starters, now the C60 is simply a carbon molecule made up of 60 carbon atoms in the shape of a what they call a buckyball. Uh, it looks like a little soccer ball and these little things are really 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 tiny and and what they've been found to do is, is, is they actually have a, a lot of incredible health effects um, and what CBD oil is is the cannabinol it's a byproduct of the cannabis plant the cannabis sativa also known as marijuana hemp weed you know you name it um, and they, when they actually take an extract of it, there it kind of breaks into two areas. One is CBD, which is the non-get high part, and then there's the THC, which is the quote psychoactive chemical. So CBD is not the not the part of the hemp plant um, that uh, will get you high. But what they find, scientists have found, is that it also, just like C60, has some really interesting health benefits. So when you take a look at those health benefits, um, what really stands out is, first of all, inf inflammation. And, and if you've done any homework on what inflammation does to our bodies, uh, it literally is the, is the root cause of a lot of problems. Uh, and so they both attack inflammation. They both improve it and they relieve it. Uh, one prevents, one relieves. I mean, it, it is an, if you look at this list, and you just go ahead and pause and take a read uh, and read this, this, this slide, and you'll kind of see... How each one does a separate thing, but together, you know, it kind of creates a super supplement. And that's kind of what really kind of uh, made me very interested in combining the two together because uh, I've been taking C60 for about five months now. Uh, I've been seeing some incre in interesting results. Uh, I did try taking CBD oil for a couple of weeks uh, this January, and I really wasn't seeing any results. And then in when I started making C60, oil myself using olive oil and coconut oil uh, it dawned on me that well you know CBD is another oil why don't I go ahead and combine the two and see what the results of the combined uh, two supplements would be so that's kind of how I came about my thought process and in, in why I made CBD uh, oil with C60 in it but I think one of the things when you look at the benefits and these are two incredibly healthy uh, supplements um, that you can take and and why not just combine them together? Because one of the concepts that uh, I've always kind of carried in my head is just this quote from Aristotle, uh, that the whole is greater than the sum of its parts. So what I was thinking was, hey, you know, let's combine these two and see what happens. Um, and let's, you know, see, just let's try it. But the thing that about C60, uh, for those of you who are new to it, is that C60 is a water-soluble um, compound. And so what that means is if you can't just you know, dump the C60 in the, in the CBD oil or any oil uh, and then stir it up and you're good. I mean, what has to happen is you have to really inject a lot of energy into the oil with C60 in it to create what they call a liposome. So, and then the byproduct of creating a liposome using C60 is you create uh, this, this basically, this is the word for it, is you create a lipofullerene. Now, the idea of what a liposome is, is when you induce energy, and when I say energy, the energy in the act of stirring for a long period of time, or the act of energy using ultrasonics, which is basically like shaking something, but just shaking it at an extreme rate. Um, and so the idea is, is when you do that, and you inject energy into a solution of oil with a water-soluble compound, this is what happens, is you create a liposome. And what a liposome is, is there's two parts of, of, of fat cells, and, and you basically activate through you know, energy um, that the fat cells start to cling to each other. First, the fat cells will start clinging around whatever nutrient you use, and then it'll attract other fat cells. And then what happens 
is you create like this little kinder egg with whatever you wanted to put inside of it. Now, actual scientists out there in the world today are using liposomes uh, to deliver drugs into the human body. And the reason that they're doing it this way, because if you just take C60 or even vitamin C for that matter, that's also water soluble. If you just take it as a pill or you drink it in water, it's just going to flush straight through you. I mean, literally within hours. But if your body sees it as like, you know, this little kinder egg with a fat wrapped around it, it's going to see it as something the body wants. The body will absorb it. It'll take off. It'll take it into the body, into the bloodstream. It'll strip off the fat as, you know, as it eats the fat off. And then, in, then all of a sudden, now you've got that nutrient, C60 or whatever else you're going to create, uh, floating around in your bloodstream, going to wherever it needs to go. So this is the concept here that uh, you have to follow when you're trying to make CBD, uh, C60 oil, uh, because it's not just a matter of stirring. It is a matter of creating this liposome. And there's two ways to do it, which is, again, you can stir it for a really long time uh, using magnetic stirs, or you can use an ultrasonic uh, cleaner uh, that they use for jewelry and, and, and parts, but it also can suffice as, as something you could use to create a lipofullerene. So when you want to go ahead and do this, uh, the idea here is, um, this is what I did. This is my experiment right here. Um, the materials that I used was uh, a Charlotte's Web CBD oil. It's, it's a popular brand. I wanted to get something that was reputable. Uh, I, used the strong, I bought the strongest uh, bottle you could get. Uh, you know, in terms of uh, hemp extract at 1,500 milligrams per 30 milliliters. Uh, and it was, it was pricey uh, at $149.99. Um, and then I purchased the uh, C60 fullerenes, uh, the C60 powder at 99.95% purity. Got, and then added 25 milligrams of that in the, in the little bottle of CBD oil. And that cost was $27.50. So this is not a cheap thing to do. Uh, it did cost me one seventy seven forty nine just for the ingredients. Now I have all this equipment, so it's kind of a net zero to me. But if you're actually going to go out and do this, you need to get yourself a, a fifty milliliter flask, an ultrasonic cleaner, um, and a magnetic stir. So one thing about the stir is there's been scientific studies that, that kind of say you may or may not need to stir before you go ahead and and, and use the cleaner, the ultrasonic cleaner. Um, that's kind of subjective at this point. It it really depends on on, on what you want to do. I decided that I wanted to use the magnetic stir um, first, and I, I stirred it overnight because I really, really wanted to make sure um, that the C60 is suspended in the oil before I inject energy into it to create liposomes. And the reason is, is I was doing a lot of uh, C60 oil. I was making a lot of C60 oil the other weekend, and I kind of just did it two different ways. One I would stir in between cycles and one I didn't. And it really made a huge difference in, in, in that you have to lift off the 660 off the bottom of the cleaner and get it up into the oil to sus as a sus you know, suspend it and then zap it. And then it was actually going to turn darker a lot faster. If you just let the thing run and you didn't stir, uh, then the C60 would just sit at the bottom of the cleaner and it wouldn't, it wouldn't infuse with the uh, oil. So really important uh, point that is either you stir by hand or, in my case, I decided to stir overnight. So the actual methodology I followed to make C C60 CBD oil uh, was I placed the CBD oil uh, in a flask, um, added C60 to it, and then I put it on the magnetic stir overnight at room temperature. Uh, I wasn't messing around with uh, temperature too much this time. Uh, and then the very next day, you know, we take the magnet out. Uh, and, and a little easy trick on doing that is I have a little neomidi magnet. And I just kind of just grab the, um, the little stir magnet f from inside the flask and just pull it up out of the top of the uh, flask using another magnet. Because uh, I kind of had to chew on that one. How was I going to get that magnet out? Um, and then pla place the flask in, in, a, in the cleaner itself. And that's the cleaner I was using. Uh, real high tech because I haven't gotten my new one yet. Um, and I filled the cleaner up with hot tap water. Not hot, not hot to the touch, but you know, warm. Uh, up to the top of the oil that was in the flask so that you'll see it in the video here in a second. Uh, and then I ran it for eight times at 480 seconds per run. That's the timer maximum on this machine. So I ran it eight times for a total of 64 minutes. 
um, and I stirred in between each run as I but I couldn't well, sorry I didn't stir I couldn't stir the little opening of the flask was so tiny um, that basically I would just grab the flask and swirl <laughs> as a new scientific term uh, I swirled it <laughs> uh, and then I you know put it back in the water turn the machine back on so Let's take a peek, and I'll just kind of walk you through uh, the short video uh, that I made while trying while trying to do this other experiment. So uh, right here is the product that I used. It was the Charlotte Web C60. Uh, I used the mint chocolate one because uh, this does not taste good. Okay, I'll just flat out admit it. If you've tasted C60 in olive oil, uh, yeah, it's not a great it's not a great taste. So I went with the mint chocolate, and let me tell you, it makes a huge difference. You don't really taste the C60. Uh, and then this is the C60 vial. Uh, one gram of C60 powder uh, costs $110, from, and I bought it from Bucky Labs. There's also uh, uh, many other different sources of C60 powder, but this is just the one I went with. It's the least expensive and not have to do with uh, uh, buying it from Canada. And, of course, this is my little tiny flask and my funnel. So I went ahead and I poured the C60 in the in the flask, put in a quarter of a gram or 250 milligrams of the C60 powder, and I and I then I put it on the stir. Um, now that's my magnetic stir in the back, and that's what it looks like when it was stirring. Um, so I basically kept this thing on. It was just overnight, and and really again, I just want to remind everybody who's making this that you need to. Uh, it, it didn't just sit on the counter. I had to cover it and keep it dark. As soon as you got it going, remember to cover it and keep it dark. C60 is very, very sensitive to light. So um, once you've got it in the oil, keep it dark. Uh, if it's in that little vial, it comes in this mylar dark blue mylar, mylar bag. Keep everything dark as, as much as possible. Even after I made it and put it back in the bottle, which the bottle itself is dark, that it comes in because CBD oil itself is sensitive to light. Uh, and so just keep everything dark as much as possible. Obviously, you know, when you're taking it, it's out in the open, but keep it dark. So I was stirring it uh, like that, and I kept it that way overnight. So this is where I basically take um, the flask the very next day. I took the magnet out, uh, put it inside the cleaner, filled up the cleaner. You can see where the water line is equal to the water, uh, the oil line, I guess, inside the flask. And then uh, turn on the, the, uh, the, I turned on the cleaner. And what's interesting is you can actually see, if you watch this little clip right here, you can see the water uh, gravitating, and you can see that the oil inside the flask is moving around. All the bubbles are coming up to the top. Whatever air is trapped in there uh, is going to come up to the top, and you will be able to actually uh, zap it inside of a flask inside of water. So this is what the coloration looks like when I was done. This is after 64 minutes, and it was quite dark. And so to kind of give you a comparison, um, right here is I have two bottles of the same type of oil. One's just a different product. Uh, but this was the color of the oil before I started, and this is what the color of the oil. Now, as you will know, I'm in a home lab. It's, quote, my kitchen, uh, and that's my lab. And, you know, so I don't have a spectrometer. I don't have the, the, the big expensive machines that are going to actually measure the saturation point. Uh, well, you know, we do know from scientific studies that the saturation point of C60 in olive oil is 0.8 milligrams per milliliter. Uh, there's been other individuals, other scientists that have been able to achieve a 1.0 mil, uh, milligram per milliliter milliliter using blends of oils uh, and so it's really difficult to actually give you an exact number in terms of how much of the 0.25 grams of, of the C60 was dissolved in the oil. So you know it is an estimate and, and then how I estimate is basically I look at the coloration of the oil. How much darker did it get you know in terms of when I mixed the C60 in it and so you can see from this little clip that it actually got quite a bit darker, and that in kind of in implies, okay, that there is definitely C60 um, infused into the oil uh, to cause the oil to get darker. And then the other part, obviously, is how much C60 is left in the vial. And I, I'm sorry, I apologize, I forgot to film what was left in the vial. But there was a residue of C60 at the very bottom of the vial. Um, and it was it was very minute, but it was there. So there's a little bit left behind, but most of it uh, was infused into the oil uh, and gave us this or gave me this coloration to kind of show that hey, I, you know that the C60 was uh, dissolved into the oil. So that's the original one that I started with, um, and then this is what uh, it ended up being. So you could see how really really dark dark green that is, and 
that's kind of a shot of what it looks like on, on the plate. So, you know, when uh, I was finished with this, I put it back in its original bottle. And at the end of the day, you know, why do this? Is and is I just wanted to see what would happen, um, and what would happen from the standpoint of, you know, if I took it. And so the kind of story, the story that go, that I have to share with you, and this is completely anecdotal. It is completely uh, subjective. It is my opinion. Your results will vary absolutely 100% of the time. We're all completely different, and different things affect us differently so this is just my story so what I did was I had two of these vials uh, I had two little bottles of C60 the first one um, that I didn't mess with they're the exact same uh, strength or 1500 milligrams of hemp extract in the vial the first one I took for two weeks in January um, and I, I absolutely didn't feel any different and I'm, I'm I'm one of those individuals that can take a lot of something and not feel it uh, and so I just have this, like, you know, this, I have this ability to, to not, not really get overly affected by anything. Uh, and so I took it for two weeks, exactly as, you know, it says in the bottle, which is, you know, twice a day, about a third of the vial and, you know, I mean, of the, of the dropper. And I didn't feel anything for two solid weeks. I didn't feel a thing. It didn't, didn't affect me at all. Uh, and so that's why I, I kind of was deciding as I was making C60 oil using uh, other oils, I was thinking, well, why don't I try this and see if it makes a difference? And so I want to share with you, and this is my anecdotal, extremely preliminary results. Uh, and so uh, I waited a week to make this video. I made the oil last weekend. Uh, today is Sunday, and it's been a whole week, and I've been taking this twice a day. And I will tell you, and this is my personal opinion uh, for me, and uh, that I actually feel it now. Um, for this entire week, uh, I have just felt an in, just an immense, uh, deep sense of calm. And that's the only thing when I was thinking about making this video was, what would I say, you know, about how it changes me? And it's just the words, deep sense of calm. And, and that's what I'm feeling. And, and like most of you, uh, you know, and, and I kind of joke about this, but it's kind of true. You know, I have this vehicular Tourette syndrome thing going. You know, I mean, if you've ever been in Honolulu, it's, it's just as bad as any major metropolis. You, you get into traffic and, you know, and, and it's just the people in traffic just drive me nuts. And, and I kind of vent and, and, you know, it's, it's like a Tourette syndrome moment. And I'm swearing, you know, as people cut me off and you name it. And it's very stressful. I don't like being in traffic at all. I, I hate it so much. Uh, and then, of course, the job. And, you know, so I have this, this daily stress. Um, and so this whole week, for the first time in as I, that I can even remember, um, I, I was just calm. I mean, I, I was just calm. I'm so surprised that, that I had and actually had a reaction. Uh, but all week long, uh, every day, uh, in and out of traffic, uh, to work and back, um, I was calm. And I wasn't reacting. And it, nothing bothered me and we had some real crazy stuff going on at work uh, that no one normally kind of you know uh, make you upset uh, people doing weird and stupid stuff and nah, nothing I was just calm I was just doing my job being happy I mean I'm sorry not being happy I can't say that I was happy I was just calm you know so it was stuff wasn't getting to me and and that's a that's a to me that's that's a major thing uh, and so I was really impressed so that's only the first week who knows? Next week, you know, what will happen. But the whole idea uh, that I did this experiment was when I took a look at the health benefits. And this is straight out of Google. Just go into Google and go, health benefits of C60, boom, this list will pop up. Health benefits of CBD oil, boom, that list will pop up. And then you can click on all the bunch of different links. It will explain how this stuff helps you and what it does for you. But when you look at what each one can do by itself, and then you think about, wow, what can it do together? Um, I'm actually, that's what is, you know, driving my curiosity and that's what drove this experiment. Um, and the result for me was a deep sense of calm. So that was it. Um, thank you so much for stopping by. Uh, I'm really happy that I'm able to share this information with you. And I, I really hope that you guys try it yourself, uh, and see what happens and, and share, uh, in the comments, make your own videos, whatever, but, but just add to this body of knowledge because, you know, when I went on YouTube and to try to see, you know, when, you know what did other people do when they, you know, did CBD 60 oil, right? And, uh, and I couldn't find anybody that made anything like this. So, uh, so it's kind of like a new thing. Um, and it's definitely something that is, is pretty amazing for me. So I hope that you've enjoyed this video. I, I'm really appreciate uh, you stopping by. I mean, you know, I know you're busy, so thank you very much. And have a great day and aloha.